Learning Objective 17-2 is to understand and explain major concepts of governmental accounting. And we have governmental accounting is similar to financial accounting for regular companies, but it's also different, okay? So we have what's called elements of the financial statements. And if you remember, the elements of regular commercial financial statements are things like assets, liabilities, stockholders, equity, revenues, expenses, gains, and losses. And we also have elements in governmental accounting. And these elements are assets. Let's talk about what those are. Recess, resources with present service capacity that the entity presently controls. Liabilities, present obligations to sacrifice resources the entity has little or no discretion to avoid. These are different definitions than financial accounting. A deferred outflow of resources is a consumption of net assets applicable to a future period. This is kind of a theoretical placeholder that the GASB has created. And they're kind of like deferred assets and deferred inflow of resources um, are kind of deferred payments. And what happens is sometimes there are items that get caught between budgets. Um, for example, a company may, a government might obligate itself to acquire an asset, but it's when one year, but it's not gonna pay for it and not gonna be actually buy it until the next year. And these deferred outflows and inflows are designed to capture these types of situations. And there are things that crop up because of technicalities within the modified accrual system. So it's a good thing to know. And then net position would be the difference between assets and deferred outflows minus liabilities and deferred inflows. And that would be what we call the net position. And these are things that are relatively new and don't have a lot of practical, have it's kind of a placeholder for what the GASB is probably going to do one day. And then we have what's called resource flow statements. We have an outflow of resources would be consumption of net assets applicable to the current reporting period. And it's kind of like expenses. Write that here, like expenses and inflow of resources would be like revenues because the resource flow statement sounds really nice it's really what we would call it's like a PL. but we're not going to use the word profit because we or loss for that matter because we don't use that term government is not there to earn a profit so we use we we used to use the word surplus or deficit, and that's not used either. Um, you'll see the terms that are used, but this is like a P and L, and obviously these items are like a balance sheet. Asset equals liabilities and stock plus stockholders equity, but it's more like assets minus liabilities plus deferred outflows minus deferred inflows equals net position. So we have what we have the idea of expendability. And by commercial enterprise, we're interested in all economic resources and we use what's called the accrual method. And the balance sheet is going to include everything. But governmental entities are focused on the expendability of resources. So therefore, the focus is on changes in current resources available to provide services to the public in accordance with the budget. In other words, how much money is there in the budget to do this? That's the big question. Is there money or is there not? And so an all economic resources approach would not work because governmental entities are primarily focused on cash and how much cash is coming in and how much cash is going to come out. Now, it's not quite the cash based method either. There is some rule for accrual, there is some space for accrual accounting there, what we call modified accrual, but the focus will primarily be on cash and highly liquid assets or what we, and liabilities, what we call current assets and current liabilities. 
So the balance sheet is only going to focus on current assets, current liabilities, the difference between them being what's called a fund funds balance. You can call it fun accounting, F U N right. Fun accounting. That's what some accountants call it. It's time for fun accounting as opposed to, I guess, unfun accounting. 